probably not. It's top to tail. So instead, happy Earth Day, Gark! It's exactly one year ago you landed on Earth and ruined my perfect life. Many happy returns, buddy. <laughs> I made you a gift. A psychic scrapbook for your first year to relive all those happy memories. <laughs> Such happy, happy memories. Great kid, this is our turn. Oh, oh hi, Ransford. Are you? Yeah, cool. Catch you later. Oh. Well, I'd say look what the cat dragged in, but it is the cat. <laughs> hey, yeah, nice one, the kid. Those are my memories. How come you have them? Uh, last time you fell asleep in here, I downloaded your brain. Which didn't take long. Shh. I want to watch the movie. Shouldn't you be starting the landing procedures? Funny thing. Guess what else I deleted? Betty, at least there's one good thing in my life. But I can make you the perfect disguise. A costume that will let you pass undetected. The ultimate counterfeit feline. Needs a better name. Imitation cat. No, still not right. Counterfeit uh, feline. No, still not right. <laughs> I think I've soiled myself. Sorry. Forgot to turn my universal translator on. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I come in peace! Don't tell anyone, but I'm not an ordinary cot. Yeah, I guessed that by the way you stood on the ceiling. Oh, this is one of those planets where gravity goes down. Gotcha. My name is Gark. This better not be a trick of the kids, because if it is, I'll... Oh, you are a powerful cot. I'm very powerful. And by the way, it's cat, not cat. And wise, too. I need somewhere to stay, just for a little while. Uh, nope. There used to be another cat here. It didn't end well. Sorry, buddy. This is strictly a one-cat household from now on. I got this. Here, kitty, kitty. The name's Max, and I'm not fooling for any... I got kitty trees. <gasps> Right. Where's my treats? And what's with the floating sneeze box? The name's Throckmorton. And I just know you're gonna help do the right thing and help my friend Gawk. What, cause he's young, innocent, and vulnerable? <laughs> yeah, right. No, cause of this. <laughs> now help him blend in as a cat. Hey, I don't remember that. Because I wiped your memory. Sorry, not enough. Where were we? Here you go. You're so kind letting me stay. Kind? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <gasps> Are you hungry or what? <laughs> what? Why? Your bowl was full of meat ninjas from Lumpolus 9. Oh, it was just meat, wasn't it? Rats, you bad kitty. What have you done? And who's this? handle this. It was my fault. Sorry. I'm good. Pleased to meet you. Who said that? Hello? Hello? Cats don't talk to
to humans ever. Really? That doesn't sound polite. No, they just can't. Gark, if you're going to pass as a regular cat, you've got to keep a low profile. Low profile! Yay! Mm -hmm. So if you're still being a huge uncharitable jerk about this... Yes, I am. I think you're doing great, Max. We could find somewhere else on Earth to lie low. But first we need to refuel. If only we had a plutonium fuel rod. I've probably got one in my litter tray somewhere. You do? Oh, what a pal, Max. Of course I don't. Looks like there's something far more dangerous in his litter tray. But there's a nuclear power plant not far off. If you think I'm going to break into a nuclear power plant... You'd be absolutely right. But not without my best bud. Oh, come on. Who puts all this around a nuclear power plant? We can't get through. What a shame. But you're a cat. You're stealthy and brilliant. Well, when you put it like that... The way you defeated that electric fence was super stealthy. Yeah, cheers. Uh-oh. I got nothing. What? Truth is, this cat ain't quite the hero you thought he was. I'm sorry. Okay, what was that? Sorry, Max. I know you said stealthy, but I got scared. And when I get scared... Okay, be cool. Good to know. Now let's go before whatever that was starts doing whatever that was. See in the dark. Come on, this way. Ow! This way. Ow! Uh, this way. Ow! I mean, this way. Ow! We're good to go, Gog. So, I guess this is goodbye, Max. All right, yeah. Well, if you gotta go. No, sure, yeah. Where will you go? Someplace desolate. The Arctic. The bottom of the sea. Scotland. It's the land of Scots. <sighs> okay, I mean, uh, unless you want to stay with me. Yes, please! Oh, you are my best bot, Max. It doesn't matter. Dumb old ship's busted again. Cheap Earth plutonium. Calm <laughs> down, <laughs> Gark. I got you a goodbye gift to replace the one you lost. I made it myself. <laughs> I love it! You serious? I could make you a proper replacement. See? This one's more me. Room to grow. Okay, no hard feelings. Ah. Happy Earth Day, Gark. What a year. I've been to space, the sun, other dimensions, been shot at, vaporized, humiliated, shaved, shrunk. Oh, 
sorry, not enough. Happy Earth Day, Gark! And thanks for all the memories. Oi! Meow! Maxi hungry! Meow! Meow! Max! You just ate! And your point is? Come on! Food! Meow! Me! Yow! Meow, 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 meow! Come on, meow! Coming, Fluffy Bottoms! <gasps> My goodness! Saxus! Intergalactic criminal disguised as a wart! He came to destroy us in a previous episode of our lives, who we exiled into space in a bubble. But now she's back for revenge! Don't take my friend first. Mm. Ooh! Careful, Sweetums! That's not a toy! <laughs> Max! That's not Zaxos! That's just a wart! Phew! Yeah. Not attractive enough to be Zaxos. <laughs> I totally understand why you're angry, the whole trying to destroy you thing, but I'm here to make amends. Look, I brought a present. <sighs> sort of burned up on re-entry. Point is, I changed. Changed? Ha! That's five-day-old fish. I ain't buying it. Gark, you have the honor. It will be my pleasure. <laughs> What's it gonna take to convince you? You can't! Never, never, ever. Come on, Max, you're smart. You're good looking. A guy like you gets it. Hmm, you make a good point. I am pretty smart. Good looking goes without saying, even as a little old kitten. The point is, you've changed. Me? Look at you! You've changed so much! Max, this is a trick. I... Stuck. The smart ones are talking now. I'm sending you back, Saxos. At least, let me make amends first. Why should we trust her? She won't even look me in the eye! <laughs> Let's all take a journey together, the journey to forgiveness. What do you say, Max? <sighs> Let the healing begin. I'm going to the library. Be good. Oh, that sweet, smooth cheek. Zaxi, uh, healing over here. Huh? Oh, right. Did you see that? She's up to something. Oh, good grief, Gark. If she was going to do something nefarious, she'd do it. Not go through some unnecessary convoluted scheme of tricking us. This is real life. Not one of your silly TV shows. So who's up for some amends? Best. Can't you see that? I swear I've changed. Will you swear on your mother's life? Yes, yes, I swear on my mother's life. <sighs> Believe her, Gark. Then start getting in on some of these totally sweet amends. Biscuit me. <clears throat> wow. Well, okay, Zaxos. I believe you. Oh, man, that's great. Thank you, Gark. Thank you. Hey, I've got a much better amends for you guys than biscuits. Come on! Okay, go stand right over there on that X. X? Yeah, X. Uh, it stands for, excuse me for all the bad things I did. This seems a lot like a trap. <laughs> you think everything's a trap? The only way this could be a trap <laughs> is if this happened. Trap! <laughs> How do you feel like being trapped in a bubble? But you swore on your mother's life! I'm a wart. We don't have mothers. Gawk. 
Do you know nothing about papillomaviruses? Sorry, Max. Now that you're trapped, I can go get Betty's sweet cheeks. No, you can't take Betty. I'm not, you fool. I just want her cheeks. <gasps> What's Betty gonna do with her cheeks? I didn't mean any of the compliments. Not even lustrous. Especially not lustrous. <laughs> Where's the library? Thanks, human swinefilt. Oh, uh, no, thank you. So, what do you want to do today, Gok? Your choice? No? Hmm, say, I'm a bit snacky. Are you snacky? Why don't I whip us up? Max! We have to save <laughs> I know. Oh, this is all my fault. I mean, I'm still a bit snacky, but now it's guilt snacky. It's my fault too, Max. Oh, yeah, so it is, as usual. And as usual, it's up to me to find a solution. Got it. We'll roll this thing to the library. <sighs> I'll try my lasers. <laughs> If I know anything about laser-resistant space bubbles, we can over-inflate them until they pop! <laughs> what kind of mad sorcery is this? I know of something, but I've never tried it before. Do it! It's Betty we're talking about! You have to stick your fingers in my cranial sense receptors. On second thoughts, she doesn't really need cheeks. Max! <sighs> uh, uh, <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's disgusting! It's like I can feel, taste, and hear it all at once. Ooh, I'm gonna help. Keep going, Max! I feel snacky again. It didn't take long to catch up to her. Yeah, well, her legs are only a millimeter long. Excuse me, which room is the meeting? It's my first time. Oh, um, it's my first day. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, that way. Libraries are so stupid. No wonder everybody hates them. Quiet! Ooh. Nice, Gark. I may just forgive you for getting us into this. Laser the door, quick. I will not! Why not? Because it's open. We've got you now, Zaxos. Yeah. Let's call to order this meeting for the Society of Warded Peoples. Today's discussion is the dangers of wart cream. I found her! Oh, whoops! Not Zaxos! I'll uh, just uh, put that back on. <laughs> That cat! Stop him! Gok! It's hopeless! Or possible! There's only one kind of wart I know that screams! <laughs> it burns! It burns! An awfully cheeky Zaxos. Hey, <laughs> wordplay. Oh. oh! Best we get out of here! Wait till you see what we have in store for you. Are you going to use your tentacles like a slingshot to launch me into the far regions of outer space? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. 
but I am. Tell Betty to keep those cheeks warm for me. Well, Gark, it's like I always say, a day without defeating an intergalactic wart is like a day without sunshine. There they are! <laughs> they destroyed all our warts! Our beautiful warts! I've been grooming mine for months! Get them! I still have 